Good evening. Good evening, Penn State. Penn State, let's get ready to repent. Let's get ready to repent. Your sin, sin, sin is sending you to hell. You need to stop it. You need to give it up and get a new heart. I'm practicing what I preach. I've turned from my sin. I live holy and blameless and upright. I'm keeping the commandments of God because I love Him. I'm not a hypocrite like all of you. You guys are hypocrites. You tell God that you love Him and you live like the devil. Do you know that he who sins is of the devil? Do you know that? Does your church read you the book of 1 John? Has, the, has your church told you that your sin will send you to hell? Or do they tell you that everybody sins? We can't help it. We're only human. I have a sin nature. Lady Gaga said that we are, are born this way. Lady Gaga said we're born this way. And Lady Gaga is going to split hell wide open if she doesn't repent. You can throw all of your idols straight to the lake of fire. You need to repent. You need to get some clothes on. You got your bra on. You need to get the rest of it on. Get some clothes on. The Bible says stop sinning. Your cause means nothing to me. My father has a cat has cattle on a thousand hills. I don't need your fancy cars. News flash. God is not money. God is not money. Most of you, all you think about is how to get high and how to get laid and how to get drunk. That's all you think about. I knew I came to the right place. I knew I came to the right place because there's a lot of sick perverts here. A lot of them. Yep. The Bible says, by their fruit, you will know them. So if I look at an apple tree, I can see it has apples hanging off of it. If I look at an orange tree and it has oranges on it, it's an orange tree. But I look at you guys' as fruit, and you know what I see? I see dirty condoms on your tree. Dirty condoms. And so you're a sinful tree. And God's going to cut down the sinful tree, and he's going to cast it into the lake of fire. So we don't want you to go to the lake of fire. Anybody that would love their neighbor, Sin sends you to hell, hell, hell. Sin will send you to hell. It's a new hit single. Sin is not good, children. Sin bad. Sin is bad. Must be a lot of freshmen in this line. Sin not good. Holiness good. That's the problem. You have a willingness problem. What's your question? Cocaine? Oh, cocaine's bad for you. Cocaine uh, messes with your brain, and it causes you to not be sober-minded. The Bible says to be sober-minded. So you got to get off the, the hoochie. you got to get off the alcohol. Revelation 21.8 says that the word pharmakia. What about John 3.16? We know that God loves you. We know that God has a benevolent love for you, but you don't love God. That's the problem. I mean, I'm not sick. You guys are pretty sick. We know God loves you, but you don't love him. That's the issue. The Bible says that most people will go to hell. Most. 
You're in the wide road that leads to destruction. God loves you benevolently, but it also says in, in Psalm 711 that God is a just judge and he's angry with the wicked every day. Are you wicked every day? That he's angry with you every day, sinner. You need to repent. A sinner is not what is what it is. You need to repent. If a cop, if a cop arrests you for being a murderer, what are you going to say? It is what it is. I can't help it. I can't help it. How can you cheer for being a murderer? Murderer, not good. Murderer, not good. This is like your foreign. This is like your foreign exchange student class. I gotta slow it down for you. Murder, not good. Drunkenness, not good. Lying, not good. And these things are called sins, and these sins will send you to a devil's hell. So, what's the answer? Give it up. Give up your sin. Turn from it. Stop being a potty mouth. Stop cussing out people. Stop being uh, dressing like a whore. Stop dressing like a prostitute. Just stop it. Go put some clothes on. When you went out the door this evening and you put your clothes on, did you dress to entice people? Did you girls put your clothes on in hopes that men would get turned on? Is that why you got dressed today, to turn on people? And you caused them to lust after you? If a person lusts, it's adultery of the heart. And adultery will send you to hell. You need to give up your sin. Turn from it. Get rid of it. Walk away. Run away from it. You know, Joseph in the Bible, Potiphar's wife wanted to have sex with him. And he ran away from her. Because she was a loose woman. Sin is a big fat snare. Your your sex outside of marriage, your orgasms, they're not worth your soul. It's not worth your soul. You could get an STD, a venereal disease. All of you gay men are going to get prolapsed rectum. It's not very loving to rip another man's rectum open, homosexuals. Not very loving. And it's not very loving to have sex that can damn the person to hell. Gay sex will damn you to hell. But really, the, the worst STD you could get is sexually transmitted damnation. Sexually transmitted damnation. You can't get a pill for it. You can't wash it off with some type of a antiseptic. That sin will send you to hell and you need to get rid of it with Jesus. The blood of Jesus is all that will cleanse you from your sins. You need the blood of Jesus, his precious blood. The Bible says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins. The Bible says, without holiness, no man will see God. You need to be holy. Holiness is the absence of being a sinner. There's the sinners, and then there's the saints. There's the saints, and there's the ain'ts. If you're still a sinner, you're still on the road to hell. I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter what comes out of your mouth. It matters how you live. All you churchgoers, and all the churches too, people that are in church and they keep living like the devil, make no mistake about it, they're going to go to a devil's hell. You're a preacher that tells you you can sin and you can go to heaven in the end just because you don't have to stop sinning, is lying to you. They want you to keep going to your church for the money. They are all about the money. The truth is, sin separates you from God. You're not separated from God because you're born a different nationality or you're a boy or a girl. You're separated from God because of your sin. And every time you sin, you didn't have to sin. No one ever had to sin. Sin is a choice. It's not how you're born. 
God cannot make you a sinner and then throw you into hell for being made a sinner. You were made a baby, an innocent baby. The Bible says that God knit you together in your mother's womb. The Bible says you're fearfully and wonderfully made, not sinfully made. But each one has gone astray. We've gone astray. And there's things that lead you astray. At the end of this line, at the end of this line, there's something that will lead you astray called alcohol. Pornography will lead you astray. Homosexuality will lead you astray. Masturbation will lead you astray. Drunkenness. Lying. Being a partier. Having a sewage heart when you got foul holes coming out of your mouth. I got people that cuss me out and tell me they're a Christian. They tell me to go F myself and tell me they're a Christian. I was there you go. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Oh, you're so cuddly. You know, you're just like the Bible says. Outwardly, you look all hot. But inward, you're like a dead man's bones. You're filthy inside. Your insides are rotten, man. Women. Your insides are filthy. Disgusting and putrid. You're just an easy ride. That's it. Just an easy ride. That's all. You need to get some virtue. You need to have more to offer than just your physical appearance. You need to have attributes that are godly. A godly woman has godly attributes. She just doesn't depend on her chest and her butt to attract men. She uses her character. Because the, your, your, your physicalness is going to fade away. As it will, you're going to get old and wrinkly and probably fat. You're probably going to swell up like a balloon and be less and less attractive. And if you depend on getting a man by how you look and there's a new model out, and guess what? He's going to go with the new model. He's going to dump you for the new model because that's all he wants. Is that your IQ or am I your number one preacher? Is that your IQ? You know, Penn State must have a class called Middle Finger Class because you guys know how to use it real well. Wow, look at that one. Hey, she must have got an A plus in Middle Finger Class. Yep. Yeah, you're good at it. But you, you need to fail that class. You need to get go to a different class. You need to be the most holy person. You need to repent, sir. You need to repent of your drunkenness. You need to turn to Jesus and get a new heart. God can save you. God can save the worst sinner. God can save you guys from your sin, your dirty dancing. Dirty, filthy dancing. Give it up. Can I see this? No, don't touch me. You're, you're wicked. I heard you I, over there yelling at us. Get a new you. heart. I Get a new touch heart. You. I didn't touch you. Yeah, just yeah. don't touch me. You can see it. Your, your eyes work, right? Can I use it? No. You need to stop it. Yeah. You need to stop sinning. Yeah. Stop sinning. These cars are trying to cut. You need to stop your sinning. Give it up. Jesus said... Go and sin no more. Jesus told the woman caught in adultery, John 8, 11, stop sinning, go and sin no more. He did not say go and sin some more. You can stop sinning. You can. You just don't want to. You just don't want to stop sinning. That's the problem. Give it up. What has your sin ever done for you but damn your soul to hell? Your sin has done no good for you. It gives you your STDs. It hurts your family. It destroys your relationships. Your drunkenness is always destroying you. Give it up. Yeah, these guys are just too cool for me, you know? They just want to appeal to your flesh. They just want to appeal to you they're, they're trying to be kisses of an enemy. They want to kiss you and say, oh, huggy, huggy. But the wounds of a friend can be trusted. I am being your friend. I'm your friend today. This is a tough love. 
I'm not here to hurt your feelings because if I hurt your feelings, it'll save your soul. When I was a kid, my dad used to correct me with the rod, and I was a really, really bad kid, so I got hit a lot. I got spanked a lot. But you know what? My dad loved me, and he corrected me, and he delivered my soul from hell. And so that's the same thing I'm trying to do for you. The Bible says that those I love, I correct, rebuke, and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Oh, what are you saying, bro? I'm talking about the gospel. What is the gospel? Yes, it says that drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5.21. I'm not bugging, whatever that means. Yo, Dad, I ain't doing that stuff, man. Yo, bro, I ain't doing that. I ain't scared, man. I ain't trying to be liberal. I'm not a bad Christian. I'm keeping God's commandments. You're a bad Christian if you're a drunk. This is a drunken Christian over here, guys. Where does he go to church? Yeah, that's the problem. The Bible says, Woe unto you, and the whole world speaks well of you. For so they did of the false prophets. They spoke good things of the false prophets, too. The Bible says, Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Whoever makes himself a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. If you want to be friends of the world, that's fine. But you're going to have God as your enemy. That's what it says, James 4.4. 4. The Bible says to resist the devil. Do you guys know how to resist the devil? Do you know how to resist the devil? You resist the devil by doing this. Cleanse your hands, sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter turn to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of God and he will lift you up. If you get out of this line and go home and seek God, you will find him. I won't do that. I care about you guys too much. You know, I people always ask, 